Hey, this is John Glenecki with Inzane Skins, and I've got a really cool project to share with you guys today. I am going to be skinning this white Les Paul style guitar, and I'm going to be applying my American Liberty design on it. And uh, with the skins that I sell, you can clear coat over top and get a very high quality finished product at the in the end if that's what you want. However, for this project in particular, I am just going to remove the parts apply the skin, trim, and I'm gonna be uh, updating the hardware entirely. I'm gonna go from gold, uh, I'm gonna apply uh, chrome hardware uh, because I think chrome looks much better with this, this design in particular. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right, next up, we are going to use tracing paper and I'm gonna trace this shape. And uh, this is not mandatory when skinning a guitar, but I do make this option available when you're purchasing a skin. And the reason is, is when, let's say you have a, a design that may have a blend. So let's say it's blending and it's dark and it's fading in. Uh, the tracing paper is great because if you have, if you trace your shape you can put the tracing paper down on top of the skin and it's gonna really help you with positioning. And you're gonna see it now, what, what I'm gonna do. So first things first, I'm not gonna trace on top of this because this is a soft surface. So I'm gonna remove and lift this just so I can. From here, I'm just gonna cut out this shape. This doesn't have to be a perfect cut, by the way. This is just giving us the, the basic shape of the guitar and it will help us uh, position the skin. But I do cut on the line, but if you go off the line slightly, that's not a big deal. Keep that, keep that in mind. So we, here we have our skin and now we're able to place this and as you can see now, this is the importance of using tracing paper is if I just blindly put the skin on, uh, I may not, you know, I may position it in a way that it's, I may be, you know, I might be disappointed after it's put on because I mispositioned it. So with this, now I kind of see where, okay, well, I want it to be positioned here. You know, I want, I want the, um, the points of the crown and I want them in specific position. And uh, so this is looking like probably where I want it to be. Once I have the positioning that I want for this skin, then I'm gonna simply tape the, the tracing paper in place. So that's, I say that's good. Okay, now that we have our skins cut and at least trimmed down uh, before applying them, I want to talk about another product that uh, I've made available to you when you're purchasing a skin. And it's not, again, it's not mandatory, uh, but in the 12 or 13 years that I've been uh, selling Inzane skins, you know, one of the questions that most people have always had is, you know, what's the best way to trim a skin? And um, when I stumbled onto knifeless tape, probably about two years ago, uh, I really was blown away by what this stuff can do. So let me show you 
what it looks like. I'm gonna put it on the body and hopefully you can see that there is a, there's a thread that runs through there, runs through the middle. Now the tape is clear, so what the tape does is it allows you to see where you are putting, specifically, precisely where you're putting it. And um, I can also see where the thread is. So it helps me position the thread or the wire, whatever you wanna call it, correctly. So when I do apply the skin and I start to trim, I'm gonna get the best cut you could possibly imagine. Now there are other, are other ways that I could do this, uh, but the truth is, uh, for anybody who has a Les Paul style guitar that has this, pre, you know, the custom binding, uh, the reason that Les Paul looks so incredible to me is that binding really does accentuate, you know, whether it's a flamed maple, quilted maple, uh, the sunburst, the fact that it has that framing, the the um, the actual surface, the the it just it just makes it pop. It just frames it very very nicely. So for all the guys who are uh, skinning Les Pauls, I really urge you to consider when you're ordering the skin to buy the knifeless tape and to do what I'm about to do because it's not complicated, time consuming. This may take me 10 to 15 minutes to place this around and you can, I can lift. If I don't like a position, I can lift and reposition. Uh, but the end result is going to be so good. And, you know, because a lot of guys go right to the edge and then they trim off the edge here and they've lost that binding. To me, uh, it's something that would make the skin look so much better. And I highly encourage uh, any of anybody skinning a Les Paul to use the tape. And this is why this video is gonna be so important. All right, so let's get started on this. Okay, so we've got the entire piece going around and because of the steepness of this, I actually do it in two sections. So I run this off and then I do a smaller piece here to trim the, the final piece. And then there's a small piece that I will just do by hand. Voila! I go down, press it down hard. Next step is to position our skin. And uh, what I do is I 
take two pieces, one on each side, because when I do have the skin, actually I'm gonna do a third one on this, but when I do have the skin in place, I need to hold it secure, and you'll see why in a second. All right, so. This part is, part of it is you're just gonna have to, I'm using my fingers to feel for the edges because I don't want the skin to be off the edge. And so I'm sort of, I, I'm feeling my way around it to make sure that the positioning is good. So far it feels everything is, feels right. So now I push down on those pieces of tape to hold From here, I'm just going to flip over. I just want to make sure. I'm going to look to see to make sure that nothing has uh, slipped out of position. Everything looks fine. Okay, so that's all good. Okay, so now I can remove this piece of tracing paper. What I am going to do is I'm going to cut a notch for the neck as well here. I'm just going to cut this piece out. Let's go there. Okay. All right. So from here, we are simply going to separate the skin from its backing, and I pull it back to about there. It's almost one third to almost a half. And I'm just going to cut the backing. So from here, I'm just going to slide it back into position, and as I do that, I'm going to sort of draw across and the beauty of the, these skins and the vinyl that I use is if you do get an air bubble it does come up fairly easy and you can reposition it doesn't do any damage. So I'm getting a little bit of air bubbles here, so I've got to lift and squeegee with my fingers. So that's a little, look like an air bubble, but it's not. It's right on a pot. All right. And then we can just simply lift from here, take these pieces of tape off. <clears throat> we can remove the rest of the backing. And once again, same thing. I go slow, I go across using my finger, so I'm literally sliding my hand across like this, and I'm not rushing it, I'm literally going uh, quarter inch by quarter inch.
And um, if you want to do this on your own, I do recommend find a friend who can hold the guitar for you at times because, you know, that's a, it's challenging. And uh, so. Okay. Got an issue right there. It's an arch top, so you will get a little bit of air bubbles on an arch top. You know, as you're squeegeeing with your hand, squeegeeing down to the edges. Now, I'm going to remove the backing, but I'm not going to drop it, just drop it down. I'm still going to go slow. That will be uh, fixed when I do my trimming. But it looks good. All right, it's time to use the knifeless tape and to trim the outside of the skin. So before I start, I want to explain what I'm going to do here. So what I, what I have to do is remove the tape from the wire like I'm doing. And, um, and so as I pull this tape through, I'm gonna cut the skin. One thing that I have learned by using this knifeless tape, and it's probably because it's on a guitar body and we're talking about beveled edges and we're talking about starting from a neck where we're com coming down. I like to slice the skin prior to, to cutting with the knifeless tape because I have, after doing all that effort, I have pulled the wire to try and get it through the skin and snap the wire. So uh, by cutting the, the skin a little bit, it gets me started. So let me do that. Uh, anytime you're skinning a guitar and it's time to trim it, I always recommend starting with a fresh blade. I actually don't know how long this blade has been in here, but I don't want to take the chance. I don't want to do all this effort only to get a uh, less than stellar result. So fresh blade time. Okay, so now I just look at where my, my skin is, where it's laying, and I'm gonna put a slit in there, just like that. And then maybe one more here if I'm slightly off. And be careful that you don't cut into your skin or you cut your knifeless tape. That would suck. Getting started with this is always the hardest part. And uh, there we go. Okay, so come in here then. Just, so as you can see, I'm just taking this thread and it is cutting. See, it's cutting. And it's gonna cut precisely where I put the knifeless tape down. So if I did a poor job on this, it's only as good as how I positioned the tape. And it's gonna go right 
to this edge. Okay. So there's that piece. And let me just show you the results of that, just so you can see. And as you can see, the, the tape is still there, so I have to go in and I have to lift that out, which is no big deal. So in using my, uh, I don't even have to use my knife. I can just go in and as you can see, it's just going to come out like that. Final cut, same thing, separate, and I'm gonna put a little snip. I'm just going to cut that little piece by hand. All right, so all that's remaining right now is to remove the skin, the cavities, using an X-Acto blade. And I have a technique for this. I, I always reverse the blade and I find my edge like that. And then I just use the blade and the edge to sort of circle around like so. And if you find resistance with your blade, then put in a fresh blade. All right, those two are done. I have the pots, but I'm going to do the other holes first. Hear that scraping? That's me scraping the side of the pickup cavity. My knife is down deep, and um, I don't want my knife to slip and accidentally 
scar or scratch the top. So my blade is down far. All right, last pickup, and then I can trim around the neck. Can lift it up. 